Jamie, I'm Laura and I'm one half. The other half, Troy, he is back at the farm uh, doing what he does best. On my way back to Melbourne because I have to go to work tomorrow. This episode is going to be about watching your weight. And I don't mean body weight, I mean weight of the car and the caravan. So I'm on my way to a BP petrol station where they've got a weigh bridge and I'm going to take this baby and the baby behind me <laughs> through the uh, through the weigh bridge and see how we go. time this tr trucky tried to tell me that I have to take the caravan off which I kind of know but I'm not doing it that way so my strategy is I've got the front axle on this checker plate I've got the rear axle on this checker plate and then I've got the caravan axles on here ideally I'd want this wheel on this checker plate and that wheel on that checker plate but I'm worried about this stupid boom gate like who puts a freaking boom gate like as if anyone's gonna drive through it's pretty clear I'm just a bit worried about it so I don't want to go forward any anymore but anyway this will give us an indication of what we're at So what it's saying is this platform is platform A, it's 2.96 and that's 2.74 ton. Don't know how accurate that is. So I've got the Misto watching me on the factory camera. How are you YouTubers? <laughs> Always watching what I'm up to. Just checking in, checking in. <laughs> the car's in a tight angle <laughs> so you want it in you want it in the factory yeah i reckon put it in there babe we'll see how this goes all right, all right. just got to get myself out of this situation in the factory so I showed you that I just reversed this monstrosity into the, 
into the factory, what we call the Taj Mahal. I've just taken it off the hitch. Uh, I had to lift it up a fair bit, so I put a, a leveler down first and then the jockey wheel holder. But the car is 2.96, which isn't much, lot, much heavier than the caravan, which is a real problem. So we need to put a lot more weight on the car. And I'm gonna check the Toyota website right now and put it in here as to what the actual weight of the Land Cruiser 300 is um, compared to how we've got it packed because we thought that everything in the back of this Land Cruiser is adding heaps more weight. So all of this should be packing it on, but maybe not. We'll get it professionally weighed and we will we'll compare a weigh bridge to a professional weigh person. All right, so Leon's just turned up, safe to tow. There you go. Uh, He's going to uh, give us an insight on, on the weights of the car, the van, and um, how to distribute the weight properly. It's really important when you're weighing your tow ball weight that you met, especially on a dual axle trailer, that you measure it to the travel height that it's yep. hitched up to the car because that will change your tow ball weight. Okay. So that's what we just did just then. Yep. Not just about driving up on a set of pads. <laughs> no. <laughs> so when you go to a weigh bridge, the weigh bridge calculates the tow ball weight from the jockey wheel. Yeah. Which is incorrect. Yeah. That's not accurate. No. I didn't take it off the car. Ah, oh, really? No. Okay. But you can, there, is a, there are weigh bridges that have like three pads mm. and you put your tow ball weight on the first one, then the, the second axle and then the other one. Um, but that's not the right way to go about it. So your total weight is 3,200 at the moment. So you're 300 kilos under. Um, your tow ball weight is 272 kilos. And your, your tow ball weight is, is around 8.6% of the ATM. So you're, you're, in, you're in the right area. Acceptable is eight to 12, 10 being ideal. Yeah, 10%. Yeah. Um, okay. It could be a little bit heavier. There is one, there is one problem. Um, so because, because your vehicle has standard suspension. Mm -hmm. It sags 50 millimeters on the rear when you hitch the van up. Yeah. So what that's doing is that's bringing the front of the caravan down. Mm -hmm. Far. Okay. Yeah. And if you come over here, your front axle of your van has 1,800 kilos, mm. and your rear axle only has 1,130 kilos. Wow. Okay. So if we put if we put the tow tow ball back, the, the jockey wheel back on. I just want to show you. This is just an yeah. exercise. So you can see how important it is on a dual axle trailer to have the level of the caravan equal. Mm -hmm. I like to set them up slightly lower on the front, about 10 to 15 mil. So if you watch that scale. So see how that's even now? Yep. Right? So that's why it's really important on a dual axle trailer that the axles are distributed, the weights distributed evenly over all four wheels and that is done by making sure that the caravan travel is level from yep. front to rear. Yep. Once that's correct, then you can play around with packing the van correctly okay. from left to right to get it all balanced properly. Just by looking at it here, I can tell that the caravan is being packed well. So if you look at the left to the right, you're within four kilos. Yeah. And then if you look at that side, you're within 50 kilos. But one side's always going to be heavier because you've got the fridge, yeah. the kitchen. Which is wheel two and four, the back ones? No, no, so one and three. And that side over there is two and four. Oh, so three and four on the back? Yeah. One and two of the front? Yeah. The left side is heavier. That's, that's... So what's on this side? 
Is there batteries under here? No. No. Solar uh, on the roof? Yeah, is it on this side? No. Only no. one panel. Okay. It's the kitchen's on this side. Oh, the kitchen's on this side? Yeah. Okay. And the fridge is on the other side? Yeah. The washing machine's on this side? Okay. Yeah. And yeah. the shower? Yeah. It's, it's not enough to be, to be concerning at all. It's more that what I'm concerned about is the front axle and the rear axle. Yeah. Yeah, it might be actually. The inverter, that's what I did on my car. Mm. Yeah, I reckon we should flip it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, let's, I'll let's do that. Just get that on camera. What am I? <laughs> oh, what you're, am I? You're an ideas woman. Thank you. A couple of questions. These here, are these illegal? Uh, I've been told that they are. The yellow ones, That's if cool. these aren't, if they're not a, uh, yeah. AS, there's an Australian standard that they have to, uh, has to be approved um, for towing. Yeah. These are used for lifting, not for towing. Right. So there is a, a hook. Um, oh. called a Morby hook yep. and they are approved um, to tow right. up to three and a half tonne, okay. they're rated to. I've actually got them in the car, I can show you. Yep. Yeah, there it is, they're AS4177.4. Okay, so these are, the, legally you can use these to tow. Yeah. So there you go, these are actually for lifting, not, not towing. So they're illegal, mm. so we're going to have to get rid of those. That's good, this is all a learning curve. So this is why we do these things, to make sure that we're, um, we're doing the right thing. We're always going to invert this toe hitch. That's it. So that stops it jolting around. The van will sit a lot better. Yeah, we'll have to re-measure it yeah. and then set it up again. Keep going. Keep going. Whoa. Eight thirty, so seven eighty. So we increased it by forty mil. That's good. Yeah. It does sit a lot better. Even the car. I think that top figure was 1770. Yeah, it was, yeah. So it's, it's lowered it a significant amount, but it's still not enough. We want to get those two figures as close to e um, even as possible. Okay. <laughs> get you to jump in now that's your that's your weight at the moment 3036 the total weight is 3150 right so you're still under cool um but the issue is you're you are over your rear axle load right so this is where this is where a gvm upgrade comes into play all right yeah. we've moved outside the yeah. factory floor was way too slippery Roll back. Perfect. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> when you have it in low range on the 300, it does this. Seriously annoying. Surely you can um, turn that off. 
just got to work out how. I might pull out the manual. So just get ready to put your foot on the brake. Yep. All right. Let's try that again. Yep. Stop. <laughs> yeah, it's good. We did it. Let's blow up these scales. <laughs> I was like, poor cocaine did this. <laughs> Oh, that beeping's nice. I've been going through the settings, so. So you're still you're still at the five kilo. You're still five kilos over. Oh, so no. now let's shift some weight from the van, from the front of the van. Okay. Let's move it back. We'll move that. Um, barbecue. Barbecue. And I reckon your tools are adding a bit of weight, Darwin. Well, I think that and the recovery gear is the heaviest. We're only five kilos out, yeah. Yep. So oh. that'll be fine. We we'll pulled out that whole barbie. Where, where are you going to put that? We're, not. we're going to get a new one. Oh, yeah. That's a good start. And is that recovery gear? No, that's fishing gear. Sometimes the fishing gear doesn't get used, sometimes it does. <laughs> what a way to spend your Sunday morning. <laughs> Perfect. 15 under. 15 under. Yeah, so that barbecue. You didn't even take out the tools. That barbecue made a big difference. Okay. Yeah. Well, I reckon what I've lost a bit of weight in this sun. <laughs> what else did you take out? Was that it? Fishing bag, I moved it. Where'd you put the fishing bag? In the, in in the, the wood box. Wood box. Yeah. yeah. So just so you know, that ball weight that I recorded on that first docket, yeah. it's going to be slightly less now. Now, yeah, because yeah. we've shifted weight, but at least now, you're you're compliant. great um, well worth the uh, well worth getting done in my opinion like I was saying earlier you might have a bit of an idea of where to put weights and how things are but you're guessing especially on those way bridges so if you get it done professionally someone that knows what they're doing what they're talking about you can distribute the weight perfectly you can do things like find it exact ball weight and then you're compliant because more and more these days you're getting checked out in the road and um, the last thing you want is a fine or worst case scenario have an accident correct i think we quoted earlier it was 350 to get this done it's actually 320 to get this done 330 ah 330 <laughs> so i've got it wrong he's short changing me <laughs> three, 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 zero. <laughs> okay. and his uh, lovely wife has illustrated this book on um, caravanning that we'll read later. Um, it's a children's book, it's actually pretty cool. So they've done a great job. So thank you very much, Leon. No worries. You're leaving, thank you mate. So Cheers. Much. Thank you for having me. You've, um, Thanks, you. Leon. Nice to meet you. Likewise. And he's got a Vizsla. So he he's a really good it. man. Yeah. <laughs> Next time I might bring her. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, guys. Thanks, Thanks mate. Leon. See Thanks you later. See you. Take care. I'll tag you in the, um, in the post. Yeah, awesome. Fantastic. Thanks, buddy. Bye.